Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your weekly general reading for the 17th through the 23rd of February 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Now I'm using the Crystal Angels Oracle, I'm also using the Gateway Oracle. And I will be using the Everyday Witch Tarot for your weekly general messages. Alright, so let's see what energies we have coming up here for you, Aquarius. And I want to wish all of you a happy birthday that are having a birthday this week as well. Alright, so we have the energy of Citrine coming up here. Unnecessary worries. Alright. Thank you, Spirit. I'll read that in just a moment. Thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Aquarius need to know this week? All right. Oh, I love it. So we have Believing in Magic coming up here. Powerful energy. I want you guys to keep in mind my grandson. He's a toddler. I have two toddlers downstairs. They are fine. They are taken care of. I shouldn't have to... Uh, repeat myself on this but you wouldn't believe some of the comments that I get um, they're down there sometimes they're having the time of their life sometimes they're throwing fits so just bear with me bless my heart um, that's all I'm gonna say about that <laughs> I love my family and they're down there having fun so all right, you're going to hear them. And you're going to hear little Gizzy running around here, too, with her little bell. Thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. All right. Beautiful energies right here, I'm feeling. Thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. What does Aquarius... Oh my goodness, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune flew out. Thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Aquarius need to know this week? Thank you, Spirit. We are ready. This is going to be an extra message. All right. So I'm going to put this right here. All right, your current situation. We have judgment coming up here. In your foundation is the Four of Swords. Recent past energies, we have the Three of Swords. Crowning you, beautiful. Ace of Cups. Okay, your new circumstance or opportunity, love it. Your energy, the star. In the position of what you need to know, we have the world. Your outcome energy is the nine of swords. I'm going to pull one more. We have the three of wands. All right. All right. Give me just a moment. You have a lot of major arcana here. Four to be exact. And you also, with four major arcana, you have the four of swords. So I'm considering that in uh, the numbers, okay? So you have the master number 44 showing up here. You have the master number 33 showing up here as well. I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number meaning because Aquarius is going to bring more clarity into your situation, okay? So we have Citrine coming up here. Unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God or, you know, for some of you, whatever your spiritual beliefs or what you believe in, releasing it into the universe for healing and solutions, okay? Okay. And I definitely get a sense with this Nine of Swords being the outcome energy. You're worrying about a situation where, you know, you've planted a lot of seeds here. Because we have the Three of Wands clarifying this Nine of Swords. So, 
you're waiting on your ships to come in and spirit wants you to know that divine timing is everything Aquarius what you've planted will be coming back when it's time and a lot of times it's not the timing we want okay but there's a reason for it everything happens in perfect timing so there's, there's a need for you to live in the here and the now and release that and I feel like for many of you when you go ahead and you release that uh, you'll come to find out that's when things will start happening that's when your ships will start to come in as well because you've let it go now we have believing in magic. True magic is abounding in my life. I love this. I feel like many of you are the manifestors and co-creators of your reality. You're tapping into that magic that lies within you. Uh, you're coming from that space of having childlike faith. You know, children believe in their dreams. And when you have that 100% belief uh, in what it is that you're doing, that's when it happens. That's when you can... Uh, co-create it that's when you can bring it into your reality okay and I also get a sense here that or all of you you know you see the magic in everything that's around you everyone that's around you as well as within yourself and that is so powerful so let's start here with the will of fortune okay this flew out very significant you know I feel like this is so positive for you you're riding with the wheel not against it you know i feel many of you have been re-inspired to take some positive risks okay um maybe this has to do with a career or a job um maybe you're stepping outside of your comfort zone and and really going after your heart's true desire here and when you do this when you get in that alignment with what really makes you happy what you're meant to be doing your life purpose okay um, that's when doors can start opening up for you. That's where this change of luck comes in here, Aquarius. And it's positive. It's for the betterment of your situation. Now you have judgment coming in here as your current situation. Um, I feel for many of you, you're doing a review, okay? Um, you're looking back maybe at past cycles. Uh, maybe these were difficulties and challenges that you've been through. You're choosing to do this review so you can gain knowledge from those situations. Therefore, that knowledge is power, and that power can never be, never be taken away from you. It's something that you can pull upon and use in the present as well as in the future. And this, this helps you see the red flags. This helps you have foresight, and it keeps you from repeating anything that you don't want to repeat. And it gives you rite of passage. It gives you second chances. It allows for you to close a chapter in your book of life. And successfully, <laughs> I, I said that, um, I don't think I could repeat that if I tried. That was funny. Successfully, okay, start a new beginning in your book of life, okay? So you have judgment as well as in the position of what you need to know. You have the world. So you're doing what... Um, you know, needs to be done on a higher level, a spiritual level, knowing that, you know, you don't want to repeat anything that has been difficult or challenging. So you're choosing to do the great work, the inner work here, and, you know, gain that knowledge and that power. So that's amazing. That's amazing in itself. A lot of times we will end a cycle and we will start a new cycle and try to do the same thing over again and expecting a different outcome which is that I think the definition for that is insanity I'm not 100% for sure but I, I've heard that somewhere before and it is so true so you guys are really doing a lot of work inner work and that's very good very good you're in tune with yourself and your higher self now you have the four of swords coming up here in your foundation so this is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week. This is you taking that time to check in with number one, checking in with Aquarius before moving forward. This is also that energy of you embodying that high priestess, knowing how important it is to take a step back and pause and reflect and go within, especially if there's a decision that needs to be made. Okay, and this is you taking that time out to do so. Some of you, 
are going through a physical healing after a time of being in the hospital. Um, I feel uh, I'm getting the number three here. Somebody was hospitalized for three days and uh, I feel like you will have a fast and speedy recovery. There was some bones that were broken. I'm getting that you were in a car accident. That message is only going to be for one person. It's already happened. Okay. Others of you, you're definitely taking a, a temporary retreat, whether this is in the physical, maybe taking a vacation, or some of you, you are taking a spiritual trip, okay? You may be doing astral projection. You may be lucid dreaming, okay? And I feel like this is where a lot of answers that you're seeking, you're finding here as well. Another thing that I'm getting here, you're making sure your cup is refilled, and re, you're being rejuvenated because you have a blessing coming your way. And Spirit wants you to be ready for it, Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Three of Swords coming up here in your recent past. You're still feeling this because it's showing up in your reading. Now, for some of you, we are talking about loss, disappointment, heartbreak. This could have been a breakup. This could be a divorce that you're going through. Or maybe you've already been through it. I do feel that you're allowing or you have already allowed a healing to take place. Some of you, you will be allowing a healing to take place. You're ready to release and let go of things that or energies or feelings that's no longer serving you in a positive way. So you're, you're letting go maybe of anything that, you know, holding on to anything from the past that could be holding you up or blocking you. Again, we're talking about this review that you're taking the time out to do here, which, you know, really talks about how, how much of a higher level you are vibrating on when you take time out to do this, okay? Uh, many of you are shifting uh, majorly, you know, you are shifting to that higher level of consciousness here, and you're making the changes that need to be made within you spiritually in order to make this shift thank you spirit now for some of you this is definitely timing okay i'm getting three months or maybe even up to nine months here in some area of your life if that message is for you you're going to know it when you hear it now you have the ace of cups in your crowning position this is what you know this is what you're thinking about and i love it because it is mirroring this four of swords here as well and, you know, my spirit guide said that, you know, you need to be rejuvenated and rested because all this amazing inner work that you're doing, Aquarius, is going to bring in amazing blessings here. So you need to be ready. And here's your cup being refilled. Okay. Here's uh, your cup runneth over. For some of you, I am getting a sense here that you have healed from a past heartbreak or a breakup, or a divorce, and you're ready to love again. Now, that message isn't for everyone, but I definitely maybe see you offering someone a cup of love, or someone is offering you a cup of love. Now, for others of you, most definitely, this is you becoming one with your higher self. This is you awakening, being, um, you, you have this amazing awareness about what's going on inside of you, as well as outside of you, okay? And I feel like doors are opening up for you in a major way. Now we have the star. This is your energy, Aquarius. I love it. Uh, again, many of you are in spirit communication, okay? Uh, you're paying attention to your dreams, signs, symbolism, synchronicities. Uh, your, your awareness, I just keep saying this because it's off the charts, all right? You are in alignment with your destiny, I feel like. And if you feel you're not quite yet in that alignment, you are about there. I feel like you've seen that light at the end of the tunnel. You're wrapping up this inner work. It could be the dark night of the soul. And you're, you're going to make it to the finish line here. And this is where you're going to shift. Many of you are doing meditation. Like I said, there's a physical healing as well. If you've been hurt, if there's been some... Um, uh, bones. I, I'm getting some of you have had some bones that were broken, okay? Maybe you've been in the hospital. You will have a fast and speedy recovery here. Some of you, you're going through a spiritual healing. Others of you, this is you going after your dream, okay? And you understanding that it is within reach and you're taking action. You're taking all the steps 
and positive movement forward that's required here to go after this dream. Now, in the position of what you need to know. I mean, this is amazing. You have the world. This happens when you take time with this judgment energy to do the inner work here. That's when you can successfully close out this chapter in your life and successfully start a new journey, a new beginning here in some area. Okay? And it's going to be so positive. Some of you are even moving. Uh, I, I'm just getting a good a sense of fulfillment here. Okay? fulfillment uh, so with that being said we're talking about your happiness some of you are definitely being re-inspired here you're going after something uh, maybe after a long time of dealing with the cycle that was very challenging okay maybe you felt stuck during this last challenge and this could have taken uh, a year or maybe even three years for you to be able to close out this chapter in your life and now you're going to be re-inspired and go after what you truly want and you're going to be doing it successfully now we did have the outcome energy of the nine of swords and i clarified it with the three of wands the nine of swords is that energy of anxiety sleepless nights feeling overwhelmed okay Oftentimes, this can uh, be that energy of thinking about the past. Maybe I could have done things differently. It's that feeling of regret, okay? And I definitely see you working through it because you guys are doing this review. Uh, for some of you, like I said, this is you waiting. You've been waiting on your ships to come in. You've been waiting a long time with this Three of Wands coming up here. You know, you've been nurturing these seeds, and I, I'm just, bless your heart, I'm getting this energy that you're just, you know, you pray every day, and you're like, why? You know, I put so much time and effort into this, why, why hasn't something happened? And Spirit wants you to know it's divine timing. Unnecessary worries are taking place right here with this, this energy, and I know uh, it doesn't feel unnecessary, but there's a need for you to ground yourself, okay, Aquarius? Because your angels have got your back, all right? This is going to take place, all right? But it's all divinely orchestrated here. So there's a need for you to be patient with yourself as well as the process, okay? It's going to happen. And when it does, it's going to be mind-blowing. It's going to happen very very quickly okay all right aquarius i love each and every one of you with all of my heart please leave me a comment let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation i send you all my love wishes and blessings and i will see you next time bye bye aquarius